Hi, this is uh, part two of my video series called Questioning the Muslims to the Point of Death Threats because he starts giving me death threats uh, to the questions I ask him. Anyway, when I read uh, my words, I'll use this on my face. When I use his, I'll use that side. So Anyway, sorry about the audio. This, is, this camera's audio is not very good. But it doesn't eat up a lot of pixels like the new camera I got to replace the one that was stolen. All right. Genesis 1-6 And God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the meat of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. Basically, God decided to create the sky, a solid dome, hard as a molten mirror, so that there, so that there was something separating all the damn water which the entire universe is made of. The sky occasionally opens its windows so that some water can come through. This is why it rains. Essentially, when NASA launch their rockets, they go bunk against the sky dome and fall down, back down again. And the reason nobody has been on Mars is because they all drowned on the way. <laughs> Genesis 1.16 And God made the two great lights, the greater light to rule the day, and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. It all sounds well and good, doesn't it? God makes the sun and light of the day, the moon for the night time. Yes, it would indeed be all well and good if he hadn't already created the name and named light, dark, day and night two days ago. Yes, I'm just so confused as you. It would seem that God finished creating days on the third day. So where the hell did the first two come from? <laughs> I mean, if he has a problem with that, he should read the Quran because the Quran is mixed up. So it has the uh, earth created in six or eight days, and all it doesn't create the stars and stuff until like uh, the fourth day. It doesn't create the sun and the stars like the fourth day. That means the earth, after it has vegetation and, and uh, fertile stuff on it, it's in the dark for not just four days but a day to all it is like a thousand years so four thousand years and also sometimes it contradicts itself in the it's like a ten thousand years so ten thousand times four so forty thousand years that fertile things were in the darkness but of course yeah anyway but I say this you do realize you are quoting Genesis which is a part of the Torah quote all this book given to Musa and that you a Muslim are to believe in or be far astray and dragged off in hell far according to Quran 4 136, 150, 151, 152, 2, 285, and 40, 70, 72. You do realize that, don't you? He ignores me and says, God brought them out of Egypt. He hath, as it were, the strength of a unicorn. Unicorn power. Ha <laughs> ha. Did you know that the Quran calls it, calls, uh, um, all is but given to the Musa, the Torah, both guidance and light and something like the Quran get it like the Quran I thought I thought the Quran said nothing was like the Quran again you do realize that you're quoting Genesis which is a part of the Torah quote all this book given to Musa and that you a Muslim are to come are to believe in or be far astray and dragged off in the hellfire according to Quran 4 136 150 151 152 2 285 and 40 70, 72 don't you Deut and he totally ignores me and just goes after De now he puts Deuteronomy Deuteronomy 23 1 he that is wounded in the stones he that is wounded in the stones or hath his private member cut off shall not enter into the congregation of the Lord no one gets into heaven without a cock and balls you should see what customs is like what was that reason God made pigs unlawful in the Old Testament? Deuteronomy 14, 8. And the swine, because it divided the hut, yet cheweth not the cud, it is unclean unto you. You shall not eat of their flesh, or, nor touch their dead cocks. Did you know that Muhammad tells Muslims uh, that Jews need that Jews don't need the Quran because they have the Torah, uh, which you just quoted from. 
And in Quran 1094, something for it's something for you to come to me for my reading of being that the Torah is the before scriptures. Did you know that the Quran calls all his book given to Musa the Torah is, is both guidance and light and something like the Quran? Again, I thought the Quran said nothing was like the Quran. Again, you do do you realize that you're quoting Genesis, which is a part of the Torah, all this book given to Musa, that you, a Muslim, are to believe in, or be far astray and dragged off in the hellfire, according to, again, Quran 4, 136, 150, 151, 152, 2, 285, and 40, 70, 72. You do believe that, don't you? Quran compiles the core message of all the previous three revelations. Torah. Zabler, the Bible, and also holds the latest and final version of commandments, nullifying or overwriting any previous version of commandments that contradict with the final version. <laughs> if so, then why is, uh, then how can the Quran confirm the before scriptures? Yeah. Oh well, I'll continue here. In the current Torah, Noah was a drunk man, and Lot had incest with his daughters. Prophet Aaron made the golden calf. Judah had incest with his son's wife. And was, did they do that because God told them to? No. How, how does reporting what uh, the quote men of God supposedly, yeah, yeah. how uh, reporting what they did was how is it reporting showing that the that what they did was wrong? How does it mean that the Bible is false? Where does it say if a book, a holy book, reports prophets doing something bad, that book is no longer of God? Where is that in the Quran? Or even the Bible, I wonder. I'll continue here. To sum up, the current Torah is not the Torah that was revealed to Moses. It contains a lot of truth and a lot of falsehood. <laughs> And yet you're supposed to come to me for my reading it? Quran 1094? Muslims consider the Quran as the judge for all the previous scriptures. A really lousy judge if the if the if the if the, you can't tell which is uh, true and which isn't. And as the last preserved scripture that whoever follow it will attain the eternal life. We believe in the laws of the Torah, but not everything in it, because the Bible was changed over time. You dumb fuck. <laughs> I say this. If you are right, then why does Quran 568 tell Jews and Christians they have no ground to stand upon unless they stand firm upon the Torah and Injil? Why should Christians obey Quran 547 and use the Injil to judge their end of the, quote, clear signs Quran? Shouldn't Quran 2, 106 uh, kick in about abrogation and uh, change Quran 1094 to tell you to not go to those who have been reading the before scriptures if they are, have been corrupt, corrupted like Muslims say? Think, please. You know, I think I'll uh, stop it here and make a part three.